Hey everybody, today we're taking a look at the Amolin Dual Color 3D Print Filament. Let's open it up and check it out. So in the box, we've got our four spools, 200 grams each. You can see they're vacuum sealed and we've got their little silica packet in here. This is gonna be a silk filament, so we got the dual color. And you know, I recently got into 3D printing, so I'm printing nonstop and testing out different filaments. So we've got this one, which is kind of a, I guess a red and gold right here. This one's gonna be a green and a red, kind of Christmassy. We've got a blue and a green. And then we've got a blue and a reddish kind of blend right here. And like most filaments, it has its label here talking about recommended print temps. This one says between 200 and 220 and a bed temp up to 60 degrees. So I'm really excited to see how these colors are gonna come out, how they print, what temps work best. So I'll see you in a second, but for me, it'll probably be a couple of days. All right, so it's been about a week. I've had some time to run off some different test prints, explore the filaments just a little bit more and kind of get things dialed in. So I run a Creality Ender 3 S1. What I found for me was that I had to run it hot and slow for the initial print. So I was doing 230 degrees for the initial layer and running at 0.15 millimeters a second. Really had to slow it down in order to get it to stick. The bed I kept right at 60, 65, no problem. But once I got that initial layer to stick, I could drop it right back down to 200, 210 and everything else printed off fine the entire time there. So, and this is a 0.2 infill as well. So uh, let's take a look at these a little bit closer. I printed each one of these benches right after another, all the same settings, but it's really cool the way the color changes. This one goes from green and kind of as it rotates around, you get your blue here. This one starts off kind of with the red. And then as you transition around, right, it shimmers, it turns green. We get our another reddish fuchsia color over here. And then that turns blue as it comes around. And then we have the red that turns into a gold on this side. Then I went for something larger like a Batman Buddha. This one did a Humpty Dumpty and fell and broke his horns off, but right, it came out really good. Yeah, quality still, good quality print. Yeah, and as you kind of turn it around, it's got this really cool two-tone shimmer change. That's really nice. And the same thing with this one, as you kind of rotate it around, you can see how it changes between the two different colors as you work your way. And last but not least, I printed a large and a small Bastet for some friends. This one was at 50% scale. This is the full scale. But regardless, right, you got this really cool color changing effect as it rotates around and depending on what angle you're looking at it from, yeah, you get that nice little color change. So it is interesting to see how the color changes depending on the size and volume of the print that you're working with, but that is all part of the fun of 3D printing. At the end of the day, I'm very happy with this filament and the color profile that it has. I'm new to printing. I just started about a month and a half ago, so it's a lot of trial and error as I try to get better at this hobby and craft, but I didn't notice any major issues that I might've read about online about other filaments that aren't up to par, right? Once you get the temp dialed in, the speed and all of that other stuff, it prints off perfectly, right? You've got a really cool dual color changing effect right here. And as you start to print bigger, larger items, right? It's, it's just exciting to see how it's going to print and turn out when you use these types of filaments. So hopefully that helps you out and thanks for watching.